Part two of step two is the construction of the play space's walls. Molly explains that they can be made from a few different materials. The sides, you could use more like sand material, but if you're wanting to save money or you're wanting to not have the child have the confusion of seeing through, if they have some sight, the clear, um, to get the distraction of the outside environment, you can use um, some other kind of non-see-through material, like artist's mat board can be used on the sides, or a very thin wood, one-eighth inch thick plywood like this can be used on the sides. And then just trim them to fit within the frames. Sometimes you can get your pieces to fit like right to the edge of the little indentation. As Molly points out, wooden sides are the best because they are the most sturdy and least distracting. Sides should be trimmed to fit right to the edge of the frames using a ruler and saw. Although she uses the power saw available in her workshop, a hand saw works just as well. The sides should be sanded on the edges and corners, then painted. And just fill the corners a little bit. But it's probably nice just to paint it a plain color. So you can use any kind of um, paint you have. Latex is probably easier than an oil-based paint. But then on the inside, that's where you're going to put your texture. So if you have um, nylon fabric, nylon fabric is um, like the loop part of Velcro that's been um, spread out into sheets of cloth. So you can glue some nylon fabric onto this if you want. You just want to make sure that um, the Veltex goes far enough to the edge so that it fills in the whole inside of the open space. There's some other brands you can get. And you usually, when you're using a spray adhesive, spray both sides. And you spray the wood and you spray the back of the top. Once you get it where you want it, just push it down. And then that's on there. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything, really. It's, it's stuck. Nylon fabric allows a parent or teacher to attach objects inside the PPS. This way, they are easily moved and interchangeable. Nylon can be found at your local arts and crafts store or through the resources link on the PPS homepage. Many different variations can be used inside the play space to make it more interesting for the child. This completed model uses nylon fabric, fur, and a high contrast background. In part three of